Get I be lovers? It's a roll my digging here. Baby, and it would make me fell a thousand head to take. Get I be lovers. Behind me is my fig tree. I planted this fig tree about five years ago at my commercial building because I'm not allowed to grow any fruit trees at my house because my wife prefers to have plants that are aesthetically good looking. Yeah, she doesn't want bloody fruit trees growing around the house. So the only place I get to grow fruit trees is at the commercial building where I can do whatever I want, okay? Now, I get a lot of figs off my fig tree this time of the year. They come on stream late January, they go into February. And you don't really have many pests. Yeah, the figs just grow. They're sweet as anything. Beautiful fruit. Now, lately, a couple of rainbow lorikeet parrots have been turning up every morning, same time. They've been having a good old feast on my figs. Now, rainbow lorikeets are not native to Western Australia. They're native to the eastern side of Australia. They're mainly from the rainforests in Queensland. So the story with rainbow lorikeets is that they got introduced into Western Australia by accident in the 1960s. There was a rich couple living in the suburb of South Perth and they had a whole heap of rainbow lorikeets as pets. And the bloody noisy things, okay? And eventually the owners of these birds got they got pissed off basically, they were making too much bloody noise, so they just let them go, okay? And so that's how the rainbow lorikeets got introduced into Western Australia. Now they've become a real pest in Western Australia. The Department of Agriculture has deemed them to be a bloody pest. Yeah. And I'll show you why. See how they eat my figs? Okay, I'm just going to flash up a, an image now of what they've done to my figs, okay? See how they half eat them? Yeah, and they, they tend to fly off and then they come back later on the day and finish it off, okay? Now what I've noticed is that they tend to, when they arrive, they tend to test the fruit to see which ones are hard and which ones are soft, okay? And then they attack the soft ones. So, to keep my figs, I've had to stay one step ahead of the bastards. So what I do is I get here early, I pick off the fruit that are ripe, Okay, they're for me, okay? Just leave the hard green ones on the tree so the parrots come along, test them, and you know, I might leave one or two of them for them and then they sort of eat them, okay? Yeah, okay. So, the beautiful looking bird, as you can see. Man, they're bloody beautiful. I can see why they're called rainbow lorikeets. You might be interested to know, what's this cap I'm wearing today? See, it says here, VB Ed loves the VidKid67. See that? That's to do with a competition I won on Facebook, VidKid67 Trev. He was running this competition. And he said if you, anyone could guess the cliche or the saying that annoys him the most, he'd send them a prize. And guess what? I won the prize. And the thing that pisses Trev off the most is when people say, at the end of the day. <laughs> so if you want to piss Trev off, just keep saying, at the end of the day, Trev. And I promised Trev that I was going to wear it in a video. So there you go, Trev. I'm wearing the cap you sent me. Catch you later, guys. It's all down to fucking merit and talent. That's why you're fucking nutcases. All of yous. All of these celebrities, fuck off. Stick to what you're not good at. Don't try dabbling politics. Because <laughs> you're making yourselves look even more stupid than they already fucking are. Fuck off. <laughs>